bright duty. Every student matters. Hello children, welcome to our session today. The topic that we are going to discuss is sorting materials into groups. So what we are going to study today is how do we sort the materials that are known to us into groups. So let us now move ahead and look around ourselves. A number of objects you can observe I am sure and uh, you have to classify them or sort them into different groups. So after observing the objects you can sort them on the basis of their shapes, colors and uses. So we will first discuss how you can sort the objects as per their shapes. So we will have to observe the objects around us and you will figure out the round objects around you and you will make a table and list all the round objects and this may include a rubber ball, a football, a glass marble, a donut, a wheel and even sun, moon when it's full moon day then there are a large number of objects that you can observe and classify as round. Similarly, you can group the objects as per their color. For example, if your teacher asks you to write down all the objects around yourself that are red in color, I am sure that you will be able to group them and figure out that what all are the objects that are red in color. So these are just a few bases on, on which you can classify the objects. So let us now move ahead towards our activity number one and let us say see what this activity asks us to do it says that collect the different objects from around yourself like pen pencil notebook plates etc and now make a table and record that what are these materials made up of and you will make a table like this you can observe it from this picture then we have made two columns first column states the objects and second column states the material that these objects are made up of for example if you have selected the plate you can write its material whether it is made up of steel or is it a disposable plastic one then you can write about your pen that it is made up of plastic and you have to make a table of all the objects around you and I am sure that you will be able to classify them on the basis of the material that is used for making them. But before moving ahead, our friend Bujo has a little problem. And let us see what he wants to know. Bujo wants to know whether you found some materials that were used for making more than one type of an object. That is, same material is used for making more than one type of object. And I think you can definitely help our friend. For example, say chair, pen, toys. They are all made up of plastic. And so, plastic is a material that is used to make a large number of objects. Similarly, I think you can help our friend with a lot of a lot of more examples. A lot more examples. And you can figure out that there are a large number of materials that can be made that can be made using same material. In this activity, you will first mention the materials that are known to you, and then you will figure out the objects that are made using these materials. So these materials may include wood, paper, leather, plastic, and you are free to write as many materials that you that are known to you for example steel iron some other metal that you know gold and then later you will write the objects that are made out of these materials for example wood is used to make table chair doors maybe maybe you can write furniture only or you can write a pen stand that is made up of wood and so on then you will write the objects that are made up of paper and this may include notebooks, books, papers and again you can write as many examples that you see around yourself. So this is basically a real life activity wherein you are learning that the different objects are made up of different materials. 
so in both the activities 1 and 2 we learned that how to we sort the objects based on the materials that are used to make them and in our coming session we will move ahead with this chapter thank you for your attention